What's going on everybody, Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at the Beasts of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series, Subadult Triceratops. This is a 1 18th scale dinosaur figure from Creative Beast. Um, the uh, website is actually right here, creativebeast.com, if you want to get one for yourself. I think they also carry these at Big Bad Toy Store, and maybe a couple of other places, I'm not a thousand percent sure, but this was the follow-up Kickstarter to the uh, Beast of the Mesozoic Raptors campaign. You may remember my video from a couple of years ago now. Uh, but yeah, this is the Ceratopsians, and I am very, very excited to finally have these guys in hand. These look really, really nice. And of course, as you can see, this is the sub-adult Triceratops. These are a different scale to the Raptor series, of course, because the Raptors were uh, certainly scaled up, but I hear rumors that they're going to actually make 1 18th scale Raptors for 2021, so we'll uh, keep an eye out for that. But uh, in the meantime, look at this beautiful packaging artwork we have here. Very nicely done, of course, the Triceratops Baby right here. And on the back you can see the other figures in the Wave 1 of the Ceratopsian series. There are more waves coming, and uh, as a matter of fact, I have the adult Triceratops on pre-order as well, which I think is wave three, uh, but that won't be here until late next year. Uh, they're working on wave two now, so I've got some information about the Triceratops here. Very, very cool. And yeah, not much else to say other than I'm very, very excited to have this figure in hand. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this gal or guy or whatever you want it to be out of the package and we will check it out right now. All right guys, here we have the Beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series 118th sub-adult Triceratops. And man, this is a gorgeous figure. Uh, I'm just gonna pull in close so you guys can see the painting on the face and the sculpt on the head, the you know just the the nasal area and just the the ears and the shield, it's all just done so beautifully with such care and attention to detail. Um, just look at those eyes; they look so good. Uh, inside the mouth, you can see the tongue sticking up there, and of course, you can close that mouth up. But checking out the entire body, uh, just starting at the back of the neck, going all the way down. Just the, the beautiful job with the sculpting done here. And that little stumpy tail. <laughs> and the legs. The uh, toe claws painted in a more shiny paint. Uh, the pads of the feet done in a lighter color, and then of course the underside of the animal, under the neck, under the jaw, just absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. The horns look so nice. They're made of this like solid, kind of hard rubberized plastic. They got a good point on them. Um, but they, everything just looks so good on this figure. I cannot get over it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous in hand. And I, it just makes me so, so excited for the adult uh, coming out later next year. Uh, so let's talk about articulation on this figure. So the head is articulated. As you saw, the jaw can open and close. The tongue can be moved around, although it's uh, pretty deep in there. I can't quite reach it, uh, but you can move that around if you so desire. Uh, the head can swing from side to side like that. It can go up like so. It can go down like so. The midsection can rotate from side to side a little bit here. You can rotate it this way a little bit just to get some poses out. The tail is on a big beefy ball joint. Um, it's so short it's not really that noticeable but you can move it. And it's uh, 
obviously sculpt it to kind of naturally go like that, but that's okay. Uh, we've got articulation in the forearms. They can splay out to the sides pretty decently far. Uh, they can rotate forward all the way around. You've got an elbow joint here that goes up about 90 degrees, and the toe appears to be on a ball joint because it can swivel and pivot up and down just a little bit here. The rear legs, same, they go around, not quite all the way, they get a little caught there. I can't tell if there's, I don't think these splay at all. Uh, I think just the sculpt and the cut does not really allow them to do that, so they may be on a swivel rather than a ball joint, um, but that's okay, you still get plenty of articulation out of them. Uh, the knee can bend up here, and then the foot can also bend forward and rotate side to side and this the toes on the back foot can rotate side to side. I don't think they bend. They might be on a ball joint in there but again the just the cut of the sculpt kind of prevents them from moving too too much. Uh, however I feel it's it's more than enough articulation to kind of get nice uh, a nice range of motion out of this figure and get some really nice natural poses, but let's see. Yeah, it's just overall, it's an absolutely incredible looking figure uh, and the, the posability uh, really helps to kind of get that along as well. I don't know why it's kind of... <laughs> it's giving me a hard time because, of course, I'm on camera, so it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do anything you want because now you're on camera and I want to give you a hard time, so... But, uh... Alright, we'll just lower this down a little bit here. There we go. But yeah, it's an absolutely, absolutely beautiful figure. Um, I also have the Styracosaurus, so you can see how they look together. Just really, really nicely done figures here. Um, I'm super excited for the Tyrannosaurus line. I'm super excited for the adult Triceratops. And uh, like I said, these are 1 18th scale figures, so they will scale with your uh, Jurassic World figures. Any, any three and three quarter figure line, uh, Jurassic, Star Wars, all of those will fit in perfectly with these dinosaurs. So very, very excited. So happy with these figures. If you haven't picked these up already and you're thinking about it, go ahead and do so. Um, I know pre-orders for the Kickstarter line end soon, but you should be able to just order them directly from the Creative Beast website. Um, and yeah, I highly suggest you do so. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be back. But in the meantime, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.